This is a quick video demo of procedural city generation in the movable feast machine using bottom-up distributed robust first computing principles. So let's take a look. Uh, we seed the simulation with a single uh, bit of city street in the middle. Uh, as it, uh, it spreads, it produces more streets that have the light gray as sidewalks that's next to them. As the street grows, it has a random number probability of producing an intersection, which produces more streets, which produces more intersections. And in fact, it very quickly fills the available space. Now, just because the things are random, it means the city blocks are not all going to be uniform and they don't necessarily match up but those uh, mismatches are locally detected and are filled in with parks perhaps not the uh, best reason to decide where to put a park but it works nonetheless after a period of time uh, the sidewalks start triggering the construction of buildings the buildings have colors which represent the product or services available there they also emit cars that have a, a desire for a specific other color and the sidewalks, by observing the passage of cars that are looking for different products and services, adaptively learn to route the cars as the city overall now wakes up and activity is going on in parallel all through the system. Every line there that says gas usage is one of a successful routing, and this is inherently robust. If a disaster happens to a chunk of the city, the ability to make roads and parks and blocks was not lost. It was merely not being used because it wasn't needed. And if, in fact, more space becomes available, urban sprawl will happen spontaneously. And this is in the nature of distributed bottom-up dynamical processes. Now all of this uh, new city is now in its period where it's waiting before starting to construct buildings, but it works perfectly well interacting with the old town uh, uh, part of the city. Aside from being, you know, sort of fun to watch and, and pretty spectacular visually, it's easy to imagine that this sort of structuring of space with routing abilities uh, could be used in a more fully developed form for well, those, those blocks between the buildings. We could fill in other computational processes into those blocks, which would then provide uh, the basis for something other than just random routing of the cars. But I thought this was kind of fun to look at, and, and I have to admit, I just I just can't stop messing with these simulations. Uh, uh, a quick video demo of Trent Small's distributed city generation in the movable feast.